Scientists are trying to find an inhabitable place in space, but space is frightening all of us by showing some odd things. This era of discoveries brings the fearful facts and gives us a gesture that maybe space is full of dreadful things, and those Halloween objects are all ready to gulp us. But this time, no need to look at the sky and space with a shivering face as dreadness is beneath us. Yes, you hear it right. Something terrifying was discovered recently on Earth, and due to the sharing of the same planet, that thing can affect you. Among so many ghostly discoveries, scientists just uncovered one of the latest terrifying things at Yellowstone National Park. What is it? And how does it affect you anywhere in the world that you might live? Join us as we dive deep into the scientists' terrifying new discovery at Yellowstone National Park. Before we get into the video, if you are new to our channel, then don't forget to hit the bell button as it will give you a notification of new videos. Also, like the video and watch to the end to find out how your life is going to be affected by this new discovery. Yellowstone National Park is not the new name in discoveries as it has surprised and instigated the scientists for more than a million years. Under the rainbow-tiered hot springs of Yellowstone National Park, the most destructive volcano that has erupted 10 times over the last 16 million years exists. The Yellowstone supervolcano changed the Earth's geography, especially where it exists, such as in North America. Intermittently warping Earth's climate and throwing flakes of airborne ash to every corner of the world. Still confused about Yellowstone Park? Then hold on as we are telling you in simple words that these are iconic and popular geological features of our planet. The United States is truly a big place, covering almost 3.8 million square miles. This vast and has unlimited and uncountable parks and natural attractions that bring visitors there. These natural attractions include lakes, waterfalls, deserts, etc. However, due to these attractions, the U.S. government has carved out special attention because of their importance. These national parks are really hot geysers, and every year, millions of visitors travel to the Yellowstone National Park to see these marvelous hot water springs, the towering eruption, the bubbling mud cauldrons of artist paint pots, and the stacked travertine terraces of Mammoth Hot Springs. All visitors and scientists are curious and want to know the source of hot water and where it goes. This curiosity led to the new discovery at the Yellowstone National Park. Before moving towards the main idea, let's discuss the timeline of Yellowstone National Park as it was made by the U.S. Congress in America in 1872. Following that, in 1916, President Woodrow Wilson established the National Park Service to form a parkland as one agency. So moving toward the most terrifying part of this video, and let's find out what is the most recent discovery. In a study published on June 1, 2020, in the peer-reviewed journal Geology, it was announced that the discovery of two newly identified super eruptions associated with the Yellowstone hotspot track occurred 9.0 and 8.7 million years ago. A volcanic hotspot was responsible for large-scale volcanism in Idaho, Montana, Nevada, Oregon, and Wyoming. They also believe the younger two were the largest and most cataclysmic event, and they were named Gray's Landing Super Eruption. If measured on the base of size, Gray's Landing Super Eruption is one of the top five eruptions. So, all the recent discoveries are indicating the hot spots are waning in intensity, which is the ultimate fuel provider to geysers and mud pots. With this data, it is also considered that there will be no explosion in the next 900,000 years, but this can be complacency or fear monger. One of the most haunting questions is how scientists discover these eruptions in Yellowstone National Park. Then don't worry, we also have the details of this event to tell you. The team used a combination of techniques like SkyTem, which consists of a large loop of wire towed beneath a helicopter. The loop sends downward repeated electromagnetic signals that provoke a response from electrically conductive bodies in the subsurface as the helicopter flies. Not said, we discovered that deposits previously believed to belong to multiple smaller eruptions were colossal sheets of volcanic material from two previously unknown super eruptions at about 9.0 and 8.7 million years ago. In addition to this, he also explained how the Gray's Landing eruption enameled. If there is an area the size of New Jersey and searing hot volcanic gas, so anything located within this sterile glass land region would have been buried and most likely vaporized during the eruption. 
These eruptions bring the total number of recorded Miocene super eruptions at the Yellowstone Snake River Volcanic Province to six. This means that during the Miocene, the average recurrence rate of the Yellowstone hotspot occurred once every 500,000 years. Once again, not said in this regard that it therefore seems that the Yellowstone hotspot has experienced a threefold decrease in its capacity to produce super eruption events. This is a very significant decline, he added, but the new findings have little bearing on the risk of another super eruption occurring today in Yellowstone. So, all the above data shows the strength, intensity, and rate of eruption, and now we want to know how it affects us. A terrifying thing is happening very near to us, where millions of visitors go every year. So watch to the end, and if you plan to visit Yellowstone National Park, you must know the effects of these eruptions. These eruptions are very dangerous, as a small amount of this volcanic ash is toxic and can kill people, plants, and animals, and even crush buildings. A few inches of this ash can destroy farms, clog roadways, cause severe respiratory problems, and block sewer lines, and even short out transformers. The amount of air pollution that this ash will create will stop air travel, especially in North America. So now you can easily estimate the ghost and the Halloween effect of these ashes if a big volcano eruption is done, and how much harm it can cause globally. A big volcano can affect the climate, and it also emits volcanoes. According to the BBC, within three to four days after the volcano's eruption, a lot of damage will take place all across Europe, and the report stated that the fallout from a Yellowstone super eruption could affect three quarters of the United States. The area within 1,000 kilometers is on the verge of the greatest danger, and 90% of the people could be killed. A large number of the public would die across the country after inhaling ash forms a cement-like mixture in the human lungs. Also, volcanic ash can destroy the infrastructure of communities and regions. Ash can enter and disrupt the functioning of machinery found in power supplies, water supplies, sewage treatments, and communication facilities. Heavy ash falls can also inhibit road and rail traffic and damage vehicles. How dreadful it is, especially if you are living in North America. But it is natural that if a thing goes to its maximum level, it must come back. In the same way in our suggestion, there is no need to worry at this level because there is no sign of a further eruption. After every eruption, this Yellowstone National Park takes a large break and the fuel is getting down. Sure, Yellowstone Park continues to get earthquakes and the ground rises and falls, but that is nothing out of the ordinary. There are many hopes for scientists and researchers that the Yellowstone National Park will be out of the eruption in the coming years. With this, we reach the end of our video. What do you think of this new discovery, and how terrified are you? Tell us in the comments as we would love to hear from you. Also, like the video and subscribe to the channel by pressing the bell icon to receive timely notification of further content.